um, two and a half hours recording out of this, so we should be fine. So I'm going to just place that in the middle and it should just catch everybody or to levels, it's fine. So I'm going to leave that, ignore that, it's not a taser. If you don't like the class, it won't hurt you. I won't use it. Um, we'll start, inshallah. Um, I'll be shaitan rajeem, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. this today's a workshop and what we're going to do is me and Kamal are, are going to kind of organize us into four smaller groups later, but not now. So first I'm going to just give you a brief understanding of what's going to happen, and then me and Kamal, so please listen to what he says, we're going to kind of organize it into four groups. And I will, I, I will especially need the, the adults in the room to uh, support, um, be in each individual group kind of support the, the, the critical thinking and the, and, the, and the discussion so that we can kind of help. Now, there's two, things that are going to happen. One is obviously we're going to do this quick introduction I'm going to give. Secondly, we're going to have the test number one. So the, the first test is going to be where we break into four groups and we deal with four main questions. Okay, because last week and we've done a one before that in previous weeks on proof of God. So the four points are going to be number one, for proof of the existence of Allah, proof of the existence of God. Number one is for it, so it's going to be evolution. How does evolution either prove or disprove the existence of God? And rather, it's used to prove, or as an attempt to disprove that God exists, right? So that's the first one. The second one is the Big Bang theory. Yeah, and sometimes we kind of, uh, maybe we as Muslims, we don't look into it in detail, and sometimes we even joke about it. But you have to understand, non-Muslims they take it very, very seriously, and also they research it and they revise the idea in detail, every year you'll find there's some slight change. So we're going to discuss the Big Bang Theory. The third is, uh, and the fourth, are two positive arguments for God to prove God exists that are also false. So the first one is the uh, emotional argument. So it is that, look, if you came with me to the masjid and we pray to Hajjim in Ramadan on the 27th night when the lights are off, Allah, you would know that Allah exists. You would know that God exists because you would, you would feel that. Now we're not disagreeing with the fact that this feeling exists, but as a means to prove Allah exists, uh, that is an incorrect argument. The fourth argument we're going to discuss is the imitationary argument, or the the the, 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 the way of imitation, which is number one, Islam is the fastest growing religion. Two, uh, my parents are Muslim. Three, you know, you can see that. You know, very, very smart, intelligent people are becoming Muslim. You know, you could, uh, my friends are Muslim. I was raised a Muslim. And this is an incorrect way to prove God exists. And sometimes we may not know those things are incorrect because everybody we know is a Muslim. But if you try explaining that to a non-Muslim, you'll find that he, he'll be shocked at that that's, that as an answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to give one topic to each group. And then each group is going to discuss and then elect one person these are the rules guys, so you're paying attention, who's going to just present it. Now if you guys are not feeling very brave, then you can pick like one of the eldest guys in the group I've got, and we're going to split up into enough people, so they can represent your views. But you're going to present basically why you think in a nutshell, one minute, it's not like we're not asking for a long lecture, one minute of why you think each one is incorrect. Right? And then the other three groups are going to ask that group questions. They're going to ask that group questions. So you go, you're not really thinking of you're just your topic. You're thinking about questions to ask the other group of people. So we're going to have like 10, 15 minutes where we sit in our groups and think about how we can grill the other lot, basically, to grill the other team. Okay? And the second test is, not, is, is what I call the hidden test. So I'm not going to tell you how to pass it. All right? There's no way I have to pass it. I'm not going to tell you how to pass it. Yeah? All I'm going to tell you is that there is a prize yeah, for the first test, there's a prize. That's the first thing. And the second thing is, um, depending on what happens, and I'm not even going to tell you what happens, and what you do, and I'm not going to tell you what to do, um, you either pass this second test, 
or you don't. Okay? Passing the test would mean you walk out here for today's joke, uh, you would walk out today as the Sheikh. You would be, for me, I'll consider you, you would be the Sheikh of the day. You know, people are man of the match, I have Sheikh of the day. If you fail this second test, which I'm not going to tell you how to pass it, or what to do, or how to pass it, or what, to do, what the answer is, you're going to basically walk out the milkshake. Yeah? So you're either the sheikh of the day or the milk sheikh of the day. Okay? That's the, that's, the, that's the test. And I'm not even going to tell you how to pass it. So good luck with the second test. Okay? All right? Even, you know, I might get confused on how to pass this test, but the answer will reveal itself at the end of the session, inshallah. Now, very, very quickly, I'm going to give you a small presentation. Before I do that, it's based on an eye of the Quran. Uh, and I wanted someone to recite it, inshallah. Uh, let us know which surah, by the way. Um, surah Al-Ayam. Surah Al-Ayam. Surah Al-Ayam. Ayah number? Ayah number 73. 73. Bismillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ يَا زَرَعَ تَتَّخِذُ أَصْنَامًا آلِهَةً إِنِّي أَرَاكَ وَقَوْمَكَ فِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ وَكَذَلِكَ نُرِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ مَلَكُوتَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَلَا يَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُقِينِ فَلَمَّا جَنَّ عَلَيْهِ اللَّيْلُ رَأَى كَوْكَبًا قال هذا ربي فلما فلما أفل قال لا أحب الآفلين فلما رأى القمر بازغا قال هذا ربي فلما أفل قال لئن لم يهدني ربي لأكونن من القوم الضالين فلما رأى الشمس بازغة قال هذا ربي هذا ربي هذا أكبر فلما فلت قال يا قوم إني بريء مما تشركون إني وجهت وجهي للذي فطر السماوات والأرض والأرض حنيفا وما أنا من المشركين صدق الله ما شاء الله بارك الله فيك perfect آية for today you see, the aim of today is to build in you young brothers critical thinking. Wallahi, when you're at school, when you first go to college and university, who are you going to make your friends? How are you going to dress? What do you want to be recognized and known as? What impression are you trying to give to your teachers and your fellow students? Who are you? Think about these questions. Critical thinking is to enable you brothers to, to decide to do the right thing at the right time. Because to do the right thing at the wrong time is sometimes the wrong thing, right? And to do the right thing at the right time is actually what it means to be a Muslim, what it means to follow up Islam. Do you understand, guys? This is what we're trying to aim today. I'm trying to do critical thinking. So that when you come across a situation, you can refer back to all this knowledge. You can refer back to the hifz that you guys have memorized and know how to interpret that for that situation. Otherwise, what's the point? If it doesn't come to you at the right time and the right place, what's the point? So critical thinking is essential in when you're facing life situations. And to prove to you that, I had to make this ayah. I had to ask this young brother to recite this ayah. Beautifully, mashallah, that this ayah, what is Ibrahim alayhi salam saying? When he says, when, uh, I believe he says, when nurihi, I'm trying to translate this purely on hearing it. That, is it nurihi? One uri? That's right. Yeah, Allah yuri nuri, we. So who's the we? Allah. So we showed him. We showed him what? Actually, before the ayah, he said, Dalalun uh, mubin. He said, The qawm of my people, the people are in Dalalun mubin. They are in manifest error because he saw the asnam that you mentioned. So he's already thinking, Oh my God, my people are in a mess. They're misguided. I can't rely on the government, I can't rely on the media, and I can't rely on the general masses for how I understand the truth. I have to know it for myself. Isn't that? You know, brothers, I'm, I'm asking every single one of you. Isn't that, for Ibrahim alayhi salam, yeah, isn't that an excellent 
idea to already have to start off with. An excellent premise that the people in charge, the people, who, you know, the media or people talk about things, and the general masses, I can't take them for me, what I believe myself, I can't, under, I can't take that belief for myself. In Islam, brothers, that is, that is the definition of Iman. Iman is the only thing you cannot share. You know that? I can ask a sheikh, Sheikh, how do I wipe over my head in Salah? Isn't it? In, in Wudu, rather. You can do that, right? But you can't say, oh, Sheikh, what do you believe so that I can just believe that as well? You can't do that. You can't share or follow in, uh, in Iman. Okay? You can't say, oh, you, 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 you believe for me, bro. You believe for me, I'm, I'm right. As long as you're believing for me, I'm right. Sheikh, believe for me. It's not possible. So already, Ibrahim alayhi salam, by the way, all the answers to your questions in the tests are laced within this intro, so just try and concentrate. So the, so the first thing is he's already saying, I can't take my answer for what I believe from just everybody, what they're doing. Because they're praying to uh, idols, Asnam, you said. Dolan al-Mubin, you said. Wanurihi, Allah then says. That he showed him what? He showed him Kaukaban. He showed him uh, stars. <coughs> And the planets, you know, because you can use Nujum and you can use Koka to define planets, larger stars or larger uh, celestial bodies, or uh, you know, or suns and planets, basically. So he looked at those things and he said, "Hada." What did he say? The Hufar. He said, "Hada Akbar." Hada. Hada Rabbi. Yeah. Was it the other way around? Hada Rabbi. Hada Akbar. He goes, "Ah." Oh, that's big. It's, you know, it seems to be greater than anything else that I know of. So it must be God. Hada Rabbi. Ibrahim alayhi salam saying that the stars, that could be my God. You see, he didn't go around telling people this. This is his critical thinking. He's thinking for himself, trying to work out. And Allah saying, we showed him. Allah saying, we showed him the kawkaba and the stars for him to think that. You see that. Nuri means to, sh to make someone see something as opposed to you see something. Yeah? So he says that we showed him these things. Then he showed him that Al Qamar showed him the moon. And he said, Wow, but the moon is greater than these stars. Greater celestial thing, you know, bigger thing. It must be Hada Rabbi. But then it disappears at night time. He says something that declines, something that has to go away, something that is not omnipresent, meaning always there. Can't be my God. Can't be my God. Then he looks at what next? He looks towards the sun and he says, whoa, this sun is different from what I know of the moon. Why? Because the sun, it not only is this a, a larger being, it's, it, without it, the pastures, they cannot grow. And if they don't grow, the animals cannot eat from that pasture. And if the animals don't eat from that pasture, we don't have a means of transport, a means of food. A means of clothing ourselves, because they used to use animal skins to clothe, them, clothe themselves. So we've got nothing. Wow. So the sun has certain attributes that it's providing. So that means it has the attribute, must be God. Hada Rabbi, Hada Akbar. But then he realizes, do you know what? It may provide one thing, but it's dependent on other things as well. The sun is dependent on other things. And the Lord can only be the one that doesn't depend on anything at any time at any place. Whereas this, the stars, the moon, and the sun all depend on other things for their existence. Is that not critical thinking? You see, I don't want you to think, ah, oh, you know, Mulubai, he comes here, he tells me some stuff, I don't know where he getting it from. This is from the Quran. That's why, you know, we, this is what the Quran initiative is about. Then he comes up with this conclusion, which we say in Salah every day. Don't we say, إِنِّي وَجَّهْتُ وَجْهِيَ لِلَّذِي فَاقَرَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَالْأَرْضَ حَنِيفًا وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ He says, إِنِّي وَجَّهْتُ Indeed, I direct وَجْهِي My face. Isn't it? إِنِّي وَجَّهْتُ وَجْهِيَ لِلَّذِي Of to which فَطَرَ السَّمَا فَطَرَ مِنْ خَلَقَ It means to create. For the one who created السَّمَاوَات وَالْأَرْض Yes, you are. So, the one I'm turning my face to the one, not to the sun and the stars and the moon, but to the one who created the heavens and the earth. Right? Hanifan, monotheistically, meaning that to one God, 
not loads of small entities, but one God, one unique God, who's nothing like the things that he made, and also doesn't need the things he made, and also the things he made need him. This is what it means what we, make, what we mean when we say Hanifa. Yeah? It's very emphasized when you say Wama Ana. He says, Wama Ana Minan Mushrikin. He means Wama and no, I'm not Ana, and I am not Min from the Mushrikin. And I am not the one who worships anything besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm not worshipping anything Allah made. I'm going to worship the, the creator of the creation and not the creation. Okay? So this is to uh, show you A, to look at proof of God, and B, to look at what? Critical thinking, brothers. If the prophets have done critical thinking, who are we to not do critical thinking? We need critical thinking. So the aim is, is that today we're going to look at arguments for and against. Not just for, not just defending, but attacking as well. So we want some, uh, to split you uh, brothers into groups. And uh, actually I missed one last bit. The second bit is to do with the hidden question. So I'll give you that. Otherwise I would have just said it, you wouldn't have known. You have to understand, why does it even matter? You know some people, they actually agree with you that God exists. And then they say, so... I just live my life. What does it, why, what, what does it matter? What that, yeah, what does it matter? You know, people say that. You know, a lot of people believe in a creator or some something, a source from which things came from, but that doesn't necessarily mean you worship him, isn't it? What does it mean? The, you have to think about it. So what? If Allah exists, what does that existence of Allah mean in every day-to-day -day situation and every single situation you're in your life? Now you know I've mentioned this in previous circles, so there's tips here I've given you. So you need to think about that, isn't it? Yeah. When it's mentioned, I believe, Bantutiruna Hayat al Dunya. Yeah, Bantutiruna Hayat al Dunya is to do with what? Rather, they prefer Tukfiruna that you prefer Hayat al Dunya. Allah SWT mentions that you know really these people, we give them these provisions, but they prefer the life of this world. Okay, and then there's another ayah that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentions using the same word. This is in uh, Surah Al Hash. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim." Wa yuqtiroon ala anfusihim wa lau kana bihim qasasah. Wa man yuqashuh nafsihi fa ulaika hum al-muflihun. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Subhanallah, this is such a beautiful ayah." He says. وَيُؤْثِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ They prefer, they prefer over their own selves. They prefer things for people or for others over their own selves. Okay? This is referring to a hadith. The Prophet Wasallam said, Who would feed this poor man? And this man, uh, he put his hand up and he said, I will feed him. His name was Talha. He said, I will feed him. And he took him. And he said to his wife, you know, we've got this guest now, yeah? Have we got any food? You know, this is what happens. I know that the fathers know here what we're talking about. We bring in guests, and then we go to the kitchen and go, we have to have food, right? <laughs> we have to cook something, right? So then the, 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 his wife said, she said, no, no, we've got only a bit of food for the children. We don't have enough for this, this, this man you brought in. You know, we don't have it. So he said, you know what, do this, yeah? Put the kids to sleep early at night, and... You know, and, and when we eat, put the light, the lamp low, make it dark, so that when he's eating, we'll go like that. And we'll pretend we're eating, and actually we're not eating, he's just eating. And then the family, the, the husband and wife, and the children went to sleep hungry. Do you understand? This is what proof of God means. Understand, what's the point? Think about what I'm trying to tell you here, even though I won't tell you. They are sleeping hungry so that they could feed their guests. Allah SWT loved the action so much, he had to tell the Prophet about it. He had to. It's like bragging to the Prophet Then this ayah was revealed, and the Prophet said, Oh, this ayah has come about that man. No one knew this man from the Ansar. Unknown to anybody what his actions were. Allah had to make sure that everyone are now, until Yom al Qiyamah. You follow what I'm saying, brothers? Please pay attention. Now, until the day of judgment, that man will be remembered in this ayah, because the action was so loved, so dear to Allah SWT. But why would the people do that if they didn't know proof of God? 
Allah exists. So what does Allah exist actually mean? That's the question. So he says, وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصَ Meaning, خَصَاصَ means they were specifically more in need than the person that they were feeding. Then he says, وَمَنْ يُوْقَ شُحَّ نَفْسِهِ فَأُولَاهَا هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ And then Allah SWT says, And whoever is saved from his own covetousness, from his own desire for himself, and prefers others over himself, Indeed, such they are who are the successful ones. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you what it means to believe in Allah. Okay? So that's all the, all the, all the kind of tips and all the little uh, advice I'm going to give you. The answer is in there. You just have to find it. I'm going to now split you into four groups. And the questions are going to be, the questions are going to be, number one, to prove why evolution is not, does not prove this proof that Allah exists. Number two, uh, to do with Big Bang Theory, that did the universe just, you know, come from an explosion of uh, nothing with the laws existing, and then all of a sudden everything came from that, okay? The cosmic soup, yeah, that came from it. Or is it, so I said cosmic soup, some brothers look hungry for a second there. <laughs> right, we're gonna, there's also a break for, for snacks. And the third is what? The third is to do with imitation. Why is imitation as a means to prove Allah exists wrong? Okay? And the fourth is feeling, the emotive argument. Meaning that I really feel it in my heart, bro. Because I feel it in my heart, it's true. So, I'm going to split it up. I'm going to pick kind of like four captains. So I want to volunteers who want to be captain first. Yeah, after my uh, after uh, after the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam always used to prefer the older over the younger. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know trans in that mindset. I'm gonna pick yeah. Alad Bay. That's one. Kamal number two. Okay. Question. Yeah, question. What was the example of the imitation that you gave again? Imitation means fastest growing religion, all my friends are doing it, uh, my mom and dad are Muslim. Uh, it seems, you know, there's, look at this, uh, look at this uh, footballer who became a Muslim. Ain't that wicked? You know, he's a footballer that kind of became Muslim. Oh, uh, look at that. You know, we do that, isn't it? We get very excited about uh, someone who, you know, who, who, who's on the telly or something and then he becomes Muslim. He's a singer and he became a Muslim. So it's to do with people say that and this is to, and so that's imitation. So I've got two captains. Any other volunteers? To follow, I, I, I would really like it, but it's still optional. Uh, I'll, I'll watch for today. You want to be one of the uh, guys? <laughs> so, but inshallah next time. time. Okay. And I need one more person. One more person. I'll be one. I should elect myself. Uh, uh, you know, I, I'll be one of the one of the people. So now we're going to split it into groups. Yeah, that's four in total. How many numbers have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. What's the sum of that? How are we divided? Uh, two, 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 and then I will pick no adoption what? option. <laughs> Can I keep it? <laughs> yeah, uh, so uh, and also you two brothers in the corner. Yeah, I'm gonna, I like the other people these two. Yeah. So that's us two. So what we're gonna do is very simple. There's four corners of the room. Go figure. Yeah. So really, us four are gonna be in this side. If you brothers can take this side, and then you're gonna have a team, okay. and, and so on. Basically, the, we want to divide another two more groups of four. I'll advise if you can get another four together, right? Keep keep fathers and sons with each other. Okay. Everybody wants all of This is something Let's get you here. One, two, three.
I've got an hour with you guys. I have to make, I have to make some more. Alright. Uh, okay. 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 There's, two, there's four groups of four, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. basically, who's in that group? 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 Who's in Okay, which one are you going to do? That's your no correct one. Yeah. That means you've got the young adults. And you're going with them. Come on. Like chase. Um, uh, so guys, you 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 you know, okay. Uh, we're going to do one. Uh, you. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going i yeah, yeah. 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 Big bang. Okay. What we have is evolution. We have evolution and so we have the um, so we've got emotion and evolutional arguments. Which one would you like? The emotive argument. Yeah, or evolution. Which one do you want to refute? Which one do you want to break down? Evolution. Evolution. You sure? That means all the questions are evolution that are coming towards you. Jay, you have to blame <laughs> or thank. Okay, so what we've got is because I think I'm snitch. They've got imitation. What's wrong with following your emotions? That's the first question. What's wrong with not following your emotions? Because you should follow your emotions. But basing your emotions upon you follow your emotions. Should your emotions run on their own to your way? Should you decide something right or wrong? Or should you have another way of doing it? And then your emotions follow that. That's why we need a critical Yes. No, Just yeah, what, what's wrong? We're trying to find a box. Like, yes, we're trying to find a box. 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 We're trying to find
Yeah, yeah so like people do stuff and then they're happy, happy they have to and then they do something bad and they don't even realize it because they're upset. They're just in that mode of just being a or not thinking about what they're doing. So really, happiness, so sadness, fear, and love, these are things that have been like stayed with everybody. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 People tend to follow the yeah. I'm coming to you. That's not right. You, you, know, you, know, you, know, yeah. you can ask him the idea what he did understand. Yeah. 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 What do you mean? We're saying, why should you believe in the people? They say, what we are those who believe in the people. They understand. Say a few words. Okay, so what you're saying is what? They, they have a new so what if someone really likes the big thing? So he says, I want to eat because we've been We were the other thing. Think about it, you know, think about it. A caterpillar is a problem. Okay, you, you, you I'm just going to take that right. contribution. That is the the Yeah. But the thing is, is that you may have had that dream, but I don't. Yeah. I didn't have that dream. Or you may, 
Uh, 
uh, and some people uh, worship nature. Uh, they, they love nature, nature better. so they worship the trees, the rivers, the sun. Yeah. 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 Some people yeah. worship yeah. Yeah. the things yeah. that they yeah. imagine. So for example, yeah. they worship gods, like idols. Maybe that's too, but maybe that's a big thing. Let's leave that aside. 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 Let's leave that a
always it's really emotional. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. 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 to get the emotion going. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Yeah. to get that moment, it feels really nice and smart. That initial spark is a way to it. I used to go to it. It's not the way to it. It's not the way to it. During the last 10 days, I used to go to it. Does that make sense? Why don't I try? Don't worry. Brother, I'm going to say it's a religious way. 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 Had you know that if you can prove something scientifically later on, the entity you can do something scientifically later on, does that mean that what your religion says is not true? Does your religion follow science? Your science is just your religion. That's it. If you see the day of judgment, that's it. I think we're getting you all the time. I don't mean it. When you see Allah, that means you want to go to the day of judgment. Nobody is going to help you. I don't know. I don't know anybody is going to do that. He's 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 going
it's about the argument is that attacking what you want, you have to know the actual just as well as you know what is true. There is no such thing as a God, so you have to know what is to know what is as well. That's why we're doing it. So I'm going to just there's an end to the beginning of the law. There's a beginning of the law. Yeah, yeah. That's why I just tried to negate the law. It's a negative statement. And then it comes up with the law. Because it's the law. It's the law. It's the law. It's the law. And then, because the law here is the law. And now get the jibs reading law of negation of all types. So the law here means there's no such type of any kind of God. If you just there's no God, it would be la ilaha. Oh, you know, the the scenario we see. So la ilaha means no conception of God in Allah. Anyway, I'm going to give me 30 minutes. Inshallah. Are you brothers doing? You okay? We're using the, uh, the, uh, the subject of emotion. That you have to, if you, you know, that you have to something just to say. So maybe I can try and find them at the time team where you've got three other groups here. So I'm only informed them about three other groups. Guys, got about one minute left. What? What do you think? Is it invitation? Yes. Okay, have you got like a lot of tickets on this? Money. Yes. You want to be in the Okay, so basically, uh, you've got one minute left. Yeah. One minute left. Yeah. 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 It's not something you're supposed to get to. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, then you just write on the video. One more minute. Yeah, brother. I have a question about the bank. Have you heard that the media is starting? Is they big I don't know. Is that right? Uh, there's many like this. Uh, to do with the Yeah, yeah. wrote a lot of books about. I studied Harun Nair. I will probably we'll, we'll deal with it in the presentation. Okay. Uh, I read it. You know, yes, yes. a major flaw in how he had done when he studied the um, to give you a quick answer since I have to kill a minute. You know, uh, in Arabic we call it ulu, in English we call it epistemology. Epistemology means uh, different levels of knowing something is true. Uh, so different levels of knowing something is true. One is, for example, I know it because I saw it. Another is, I know it because I can scientifically test it. Well. The other one is, I know it because I can rationally prove it. Like, for example, I say, 
Quran will come from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, an Arab, a non-Arab, or Allah. I remove these four, then I say Allah, for example. Because they're making the rational process. Now, we as Muslims, we believe that the rational process is superior to the scientific process. Okay, so we know, uh, so, so, uh, so Islam, and the Islamic way of thinking, it doesn't mean uh, superior, you know what I mean? It doesn't follow science. Science follows Islam. Why? Because Islam based itself on a more stronger way of knowing something is true. For example, in science, today you say something, you can take the data and say, no, our testing shows you are true. I thought that's true. You are Which is okay, our hypothesis is good when you're in the car. Because you want to make sure what is most likely to happen. But to hypothesize on your aqidah means that there's doubt. And no one will leave their whole life to break conscious on 1% of doubt. So the first thing is that is that he went to the Quran and he then tries to make, the, make it match for the science. So he talked about the, uh, you know, the, 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 the baby when it's first uh, small, it's like this, like a true piece of flesh. So Allah says it's a true piece of flesh. But then he goes into excessive detail about how he doesn't mention it in the Quran and it's like the science of an X-ray. And the problem is, is that if you prove that it's not true after, then that means you've disproved Islam. So if your scientific theory changes next year, that means that Islam is wrong. So Islam isn't running behind science to try and find out that uh, science is true. But science uh, is in agreement, agreement with uh, the Islamic world. So unfortunately, you mentioned the universal understanding. Uh, you mentioned, uh, yeah, yeah, and you mentioned the explosion and all this. Yeah. 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 They find out that the fact that the celestial bodies are moving further apart is completely It to mean that that's what you usually see. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example from a scientific point of view. You know, you spin motion around very, very quickly. If you look at it a lot, it looks like it's going the other way around. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something goes very, very fast. So, how you're looking at the Earth based on how, at the moment, our current way of looking at it. So we can say when Allah says we stretched out the earth. But the problem with that is that that could mean that the universe is actually coming closer together. Because we're looking at the oh, when things expand, they can't move further apart. But things actually are moving to certain parts apart. And they're moving towards somewhere else. For example, it depends how you're winding something up. Right now they can say oh, Earth is expanding uh, and it says in the Quran. And two years later they can say no, the Earth is out of the universe is actually constricting and it's pulling everything back to a black hole or something like this. It's already these are some of the theories that are Then you the Quran is wrong. Yeah, so science is looking at the Quran on top and then the Quran is forever chasing. No, because the whole problem with science is so, so the whole point is science is uh, something that you have to have testable material. You have to be able to test something. And the science is studying the material of the known world. But the whole point of Allah is that he's not part of the creation. Because if he was, he would be Allah. If he was part of the creation, he would be dependent like everything else. And he would be Allah. So the problem with the argument is, is that science is beneficial in understanding the material of the world and the how, but not the why. It doesn't answer the why. So to answer the why is not the truth of science. So what you can do is when you're developing the argument of why, a component of that you can use scientific arguments to say how, how, how. But then after the why is the top. Because actually you need to do it. The way I teach it anyway is that science is what they call a branch of rational. It's actually part of rational theory, but it is not all of rational theory. So for example, science will tell me that when knocking on the door means that there must be an ocean 
that what emotions uh, is hard that it? made that it's noise. Hard. And that produces vibrations, and that my ear yeah. picks up vibrations and chokes it out. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But my ration will tell me that that is a someone behind the door. Because the door doesn't knock, knock itself. So you can see that we use ration science, but only in its field. We do not take science outside of its field, and then mistakes will happen. Like Paranasia, I've studied all a lot of his books, and find many, many mistakes because they make the scientists happy. It's a God of science, you know? We believe that God greater than the God of science. Okay, guys, 30 seconds as soon as you wrap up. Yeah, there was a lot of people. Yeah, there was a lot of people. Yeah, there was a lot of people. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm gonna now uh, present my team's view as well, and then after that we're gonna take turns in each one. Yeah, so we'll go right ways, inshallah. Yeah, right ways. Now, do any of you guys wanna do present any of the arguments, or do I represent you? I'm, the, I'm your lawyer. Yeah, yeah. You want to be? Your, uh, are you sure? What? If I miss out anything, you correct me. Yeah. If I miss something out, you tell me. Okay. Um, now what we have is evolution. We have emotion as a way to believe. We have imitation, imitation following as a way to believe. And we have the band. If you one day you, you one day when you guys get a bit older you realise that not a lot of people do this. You have people who are fifty years old and they never thought about anything much. <laughs> They've never questioned anything. Alhamdulillah today you've got two questions that are positive that are wrong, and you've got two arguments that are negative and are also wrong. So it's to show you that to, to build critical thinking. And I've said to all of you guys as individual groups that that is la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. You say la ilaha, no such conception or type or anything of a God illallah. So there's critical thinking in your shahada, isn't there? So you have to understand, every Ibrahim alayhi salam did critical thinking. When he didn't go, inni wa jahtu wa no. He said no, hadha rabbi, hadha akbar, hadha so, and then he said inni wa jahtu. So we, critical thinking is, is essential because it will give you yaqeen, brothers. Last week we talked about that, isn't it? The speaker was emphasizing that. We were emphasizing that. We were saying, look, man, we all know the arguments. But when you're at school and you're under pressure and people are looking at you and people are trying to tell you to get involved with them, at that time you need something more, more than just a set of arguments. Do you understand? Where's the prize, by the way? Where's the chocolates? Yeah. Mom, can you do the okay. there's a slight ceremony? I just want that in the middle of the room to you know what's at stake. Okay. Yeah, I need to motivate you. Easy, easy, that's it. Yeah, you can, we, some argue that's your evolutionary gene that I'm uh, trying to exploit here. Yeah. So this is the food here. All right. And we're gonna. This is what we're gonna win. So this is the point, guys. Yeah. This is to, to build the yaqeen so that when you are at in life, you can question what is actually going on around you and make the decision. The right decision at the right time and place. Wallahi, I've met brothers who are far more knowledgeable than any of us in this room. But at the right time, at the right place, you know, they did make the right decision. And it, and it, and it only takes, it can take one, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is mentioned that there will be a man who's all the way going to Jannah, all the way, he's going to Jannah, he's been good all his life. And then Allah writes for him, yeah, when he's one dir'ah, one dir'ah means one hand span away from the gates of Jannah. And then Allah has written it for him that he gets thrown in hellfire. How so? 
And there's a man who's going to go to Jahannam all his life. And then one dir'a away from Jahannam, and then he has, he, something changes in him, Allah is right for him, that he's going to go to Jannah. Why? Because the, the sharh, or the, 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 the studies that I did in this hadith, is because he had something that he didn't deal with when he was young. He had a problem that he knew he had it, even though he was a believer. Like, we're believers. Yeah, we're Muslim, right? But maybe we, we all know we've got certain problems that only we know. I know, you know yours. You know yours. You all know yours. But no one ever tested that, so you never had to worry about it. And then come 30 or 40, or you meet someone, or something happens, and that gets tested, and then it's all apart. All the brothers who have cars know what I'm talking about. You get a car, you don't smoke, so you never tested the cigarette lighter in your life. Twenty, you know, five years, ten years later, someone wants you to use a cigarette lighter, you find out that there's a known fault within these cars, the cigarette light doesn't work. It's only when it was tested in that particular thing, then the exploit, or same thing with viruses, same thing, it works in the same way. That thing came out. So we may all have a problem that we don't know, and in years time it gets tested, and we break apart, we become jelly. Blah, I'll do whatever you want. You know, I give in. You know, I'll follow the crowd. We might become a sheep. So this is why I'm trying to build critical thinking. The arguments are just the thing, the plaything of today. The point is to build critical thinking. I hope you take that away from you. Inshallah, the first group of people are the evolution. We're going to start from the right, inshallah. I had the evolutionary uh, uh, refutations. Inshallah. To refute the evolution, inshallah. Bismillah. Okay, um, Assalamu alaikum. We will be discussing the issue of, of uh, does the theory of evolution prove God exists? We will be stating facts of um, what we do accept and uh, not accept. And uh, from an Islamic perspective, uh, what, uh, how, uh, what will we determine? Does it? Uh, prove God exists or does it, um, does it not? Remember, we will have 10 minutes each on the chair. 10 minutes each. 10 minutes? No. 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 Uh, so, Max. Uh, Rehan will... Uh, Go ahead. Um, mention, your dis okay. mention your points, basically. Bismillah. Bismillah. Um, we accept that adaptation, that we adapt, we adapt. For example, uh, for example, like, the, um, the rats, for example, um, there was a rat poison made, yeah, but then they, uh, some of them died, but they, uh, some of them adapted to it, so and they were used to the rat poison, so they didn't die, so like, that's like a form of evolution, adaptation. Mm. And another one <coughs> is, oh, why would you say why well, we don't accept it? Um, we don't accept that, so we don't want to say that um, um, we, we can change from species to species because um, you can't um, randomly just get something that's complicated in your brain uh, or something like the atmos atmosphere. So like the atmosphere is perfect for the human to know what percent, but if it goes like, up to 22%, you can get hyperexia and die. So, Rule, yeah? You don't all have to give salam, yeah? We're, we've done introduction before we came in. Go ahead. Uh, first, we already know that um, evolution is only a theory. So it's only, a, um, uh, it's only an idea that it was made of. Um, then uh, we see that evolution, um, when it takes place, it, um, it doesn't always work. So things like cancer, when the cells mutate and uh, cancer is made, that's how cancer came about. And then when we talk about evolution, the first, um, when we normally talk about evolution, it's a process, it's a physical process that comes within this world, like it's not outside. Mm. And then, um, yeah, and so that, that answers our question that um, evolution is already a process within the physical world. This means that, like, as we learned last week, that evolution, like, things like these are only a domino piece. Like, it's not, it's only one thing leading to another, so we come to the answer that it's not. He doesn't have anything to do with the argument. Okay, you will get questions if you finish your presentation. Okay, are there any questions? You put your hand up, your team representatives. You got, or you, if, if you want to ask yourself. Have you got questions for evolution? Yeah, I've got questions. Uh, yeah. Turn the grill on. Uh, uh, we must have come from monkeys as every human has a bone tail. This is a clear proof that we came from monkeys. 
can you uh, point me to that? Okay, I'll, I'll give this question because we had a similar question, so we're going to pass you the same question. What we said is, look, at the end of the day, there are monkeys in the past and now that look a bit human, right? No one can argue that. Look at them, right? And there are humans that look a bit like monkeys. <laughs> Isn't it? That's what we said last week as well, right? So why not? That's, that's really what they're saying. And he's mentioned the detail about the bone tail. And we share similarities with that. Uh, evolution happened 100 billion years ago, so what can happen again now? Yeah. What can well, happen? Machine. Apes, I mean, a dog's got a tail. Oh, you're a Like it's me. We're here. I could give you the answer for that. No, we, can't, like, we don't see. Yeah, it, the the adaptation happens over a long period of time, so it can't just happen when you want it to happen. But yeah. a dog's got a tail, a cat's got a tail. Doesn't mean a dog evolved into a cat or a cat evolved into. Oh, but the the back tail is different. There's another point, which is obviously it takes a long time, and you'd have to stare at it a long time for a couple of thousand years to see that change, isn't it? And the other thing is, is that how do you know all the animals have evolved to what they're finally going to be? They don't need to evolve because they're all right. They're not dying out. And so they don't have to evolve. And so we're actually at the end of the evolutionary chain or near the end of the evolutionary chain. I do know that that's not the case. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it seems like we the end stage of the end stage. Go ahead, come on. Yeah. What's your argument, guys? Yeah, if you guys have discussed it, one of you just. Is it like this? Saying that, so say we have evolved to the peak, so there is no more evolving. So we can't evolve anymore to be what. Because like. That's I'm not going to evolve into becoming a 4x4 a four four truck or a plane. It's not Transformers, guys. It's evolution. Okay. Any more questions yeah. for them? Any more questions? Go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, wait for the question, brothers. It's not really an extra thing, but it supports what you said. Um, yes. Because when you think about it, it's like we can't show evolution to humans. Because humans don't evolve to be like when you think about it, we can't show evolution right now unless something is in danger in itself. Because when, like, easy example, when Darwin actually proved his theories, like tried to prove his theories and stuff. His main example was I forgot which animal it was. It was a type of bird. But the it, yeah, um, it evolved when and the dodo, mm -hmm. the type of yeah, um, the legs grew longer when it was in danger of dying because it couldn't survive in the levels of water, mm -hmm. and we can't show that in ourselves because we don't, we're not in that scenario right now where we're not able to survive because of a certain issue in our environment. Just love, guys. I, I'm, you know, I'm making it move very quick because we're very short time. Okay. What's your answer to that? Well, basically, when you're not in danger, the thing is, human beings have been in danger. Yeah, yeah. In but what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. In Syria, I think the man you see humans turn to monkeys and stuff like that. And you push yourself like Or pick up bulletproof over yeah. yeah. time. Yeah. Like, uh, battles, there's been battles, riding, riding in the turn, riding in the change. And uh, we already have said about different human beings in different yeah. parts of the world. Yeah. What do you think? On a humorous point, uh, yes. if it's allowed, uh, well, humans have insurance. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, on the, and actually, on a, and a serious point linked to that is that the reason why humans didn't evolve in wars is because they used their mind to make tools that basically allowed them to fly, for example. And maybe if they didn't in, invent planes, they would have been able to just fly themselves. And that sounds a bit absurd. No. I have to do it. What about in the town of Pakistan? Uh, yes. before, where there was yes. no inventions or nothing. Yes. Um, there was always inventions. Like, no, with that. Like flyers, trucks and stuff. There was nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. So there was means of travel, wasn't it? But yeah, the, then but they slowly upgraded. So before it was a horse, before that was a thingy, then it was a horse and cart, then it was a cart without a horse. <laughs> Sorry, just making myself laugh about that. There's a cart with no horse. You know, there's a man sitting there and had a, you know, the engine, right? Keep up, yeah? yeah? And then after that, then obviously we had things that are actually fly and propulsion and, and, and all the rest of it, yeah? So I think one of the, I think the main argument, I would say, the main thrust of your argument was actually. The fact that all of these things you're saying is happening within, uh, it's just a process within the material world. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't explain how that material world outside it, outside uh, it has to be something that is not dependent and doesn't require itself by anything else to exist and doesn't need anything else and is independent of those things to exist. So it doesn't actually answer the question, it prolongs it. And what the brother Kamran said actually is that every time you ask, uh, make a point about evolution, you just add an extra domino to a string of dominoes and you're not answering the question, okay? So I think that's basically the main question. As for evolution, I would say the main argument, yeah, I'm just giving conclusions for every team, 
is the fact that though you can talk about now, throughout the last thousand years, two thousand years, we do not have two things that we need to at least begin the discussion about evolution. Do you understand brothers what I'm talking about? Yes, to begin the discussion, yeah, then you need to listen more attentively or there'll be no sweets for you, my friend. So what happens is, is that there's two discussion uh, points that need to be found before you can begin. Because <coughs> science is to do with you find something, and then you talk about the possibilities, of, uh, isn't it? So the truth is, one, you need to find a chain of evolutionary changes, which they have never found. Okay? They call it a missing link, which is a deformed monkey and a deformed human being. But they haven't found a, a trajectory or a series of changes within monkeys to human beings. They've never found that. They've never found that. They call it the missing link themselves. That's their own claim. Secondly, if there was this thing where people are dying, slowly an eyeball is crawling, and then after that it adds a face, and then it starts adding legs or whatever, obviously many of those walking eyeballs would have died. Okay? Probably get stepped on or something. So what would happen is, is that you should have billions of fossils of what? Of all the failed evolutions, correct? Because we're saying there was loads of them that happened, and then some survived, and that's how we got human beings. That means there should be billions of, every for every one that you see is kind of a slightly evolved monkey, there should be failed monkeys, you know, failed half-human, you know, of varying degrees. There should be billions of them. The floor should be just, underneath it, we should be digging and just digging them up every day. Isn't it? The, there should be more failures. And what Brother Kamran said is actually the main thrust of the argument. He talked about mutation. If you want to know about evolution, ultimately it comes down to mutation. How does a cell mutate? Now, in... Uh, uh, um, what's the place where the nuclear fallout happened? Oh, uh, Chernobyl. 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 The, the Chernobyl experiment, you could say. Never has a positive... You know what happened? A nuclear reactor basically blew up. And there was like nuclear fallout and everybody basically had problems because their cells are mutating because of the radiation. All right. So that's a little historical point. You can check it out. But never did someone get a beneficial mutation. Do you understand? They didn't say, oh, he's mutated and he's decided he can fly. Or he's mutated and he can see through walls. Or he's mutated and he can run really fast more than any other human being. Every mutation that happened was not positive. It was negative. People without faces, people without arms, people without organs, people with the organs outside their body. So there was never a positive mutation, and hence evolution that says that mutation is the way that it takes place is basically a false argument and doesn't anyway answer the argument of where it came from. So Jazakallah khair, we're going to move on to our crew, which I'm slightly biased. I like them. Go ahead. You got one more question? Go ahead. Way before the like, there's no people of art that assuming, like, Yes, that's, 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 that's the size. That's to do with the size. Yeah, I mean, if you look at those, they, they were actually destroyed into dust. That's what it says, isn't it? They were actually destroyed into dust. That's the first thing. Second thing is, you're using a scientific premise. You're saying, how come I haven't found it yet? Well, there's a lot of things we haven't found. We're only finding civilizations. You know, they only found Christopher Columbus's, if I'm not wrong to follow by, yeah. so probably follow the news. You know, the, 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 you know Christopher Columbus, America, they're only recently yeah. finding his uh, boat, his ship, just, just now. So how come we believed it all that time? And now we find his boat now. So, you know, just because you haven't found it yet, doesn't necessarily mean most of the world's land and sea, most of the sea, I, I think there's like 80% I read in the BBC News the other day, is that we haven't even we haven't researched Is that Vasco da Gama, the one who discovered America? Yes. Or Christopher yes, Columbus? Yes, yes, Christopher Columbus, yes. Who had a Muslim what about Vasco da Gama? <laughs> Vasco da Gama? Uh, what's called? Huh? Vasco da Gama, who discovered America. Well, they say Christopher Columbus, but actually there's evidence for... Uh, but the Muslims sort of being there before. Yeah, he yeah. 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 was around, around that time. Oh. It was around that time. Yeah. But the point is, is that people have been Portuguese. believing in him a long time before they ever had a, a uh, found his boat, which was last week. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> they only found his boat last week. Yeah. So Columbus. yeah, they found it under the sea in uh, Haiti, under somewhere near Haiti. So anyway, can we, we need to move on because of time. We can't answer every question. Go ahead, we'll start. Um, what about... Uh, your people have good memory, you have bad memory. Yes. People are more clever, yes. people are less clever. How could, how could you say that that's not like, some sort of uh, evil thing? Do you think you can, you can train your memory? Maybe the, 
We'll, 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 we'll look at more questions. We really are short of time, guys. Yeah, I've got probably 10 minutes max, so I need, we need to move on very, very quickly. Who's going to present our team? I thought you were going to do it. No. Huh? Mm-hmm. You look so confident. What's going on? Come on. Can you can do it. You want to do it? Or do you want me to do it? Okay, if I miss anything, you'll, you'll tell me, right? Okay, very quickly. Yeah, I got hours quick, so it's, not, it's, it's, it's a double. Yeah, it's very easy. We said, why not to use emotion? Point number one is people... Uh, Two emotions are love and fear. So a lot of the Christians, they say they love God, and then they lose their faith because something bad happens, and they say, well, how if God is love, how could he do that to me? Other people, uh, you know, uh, are angry, I would say, is another emotion. So they're angry at God. So sometimes uh, Jews, they follow all the laws, but then when a calamity hits them, they, they become angry with God because they say, why did he give us, if we're chosen, why did he give us the things that we want? Why did he bless us? Why did he... So for this reason... You know, we can see that, you know, play, uh, to do with love and to do with fear and anger, to be honest, it changes from person to person. The other point we mentioned, what we discussed was being happy and sad. Yeah, that sad and being happy, you know, are subjective as well. So all emotions are subjective. But reality, which is where you're going to find out where the world comes from, to study the reality is to know where the world comes from, isn't it? To understand the al khaliq from al makhluk from the creation to know the creator. But we but you're not going to know that through emotion, because emotion, brothers, is subjective. Do you understand? Subjective means that you can have many emotions about a thing, but reality, things are objective. You get it? Just because that camera is uh, you know it's there i mean if i feel angry at it it doesn't turn into a banana i can't call it something else do you get it i can't say now you know i'm happy with it it's turned into a butterfly so emotions don't change the reality the reality is objective so that's the conclusion we came up with and also we said a slight point was that scientists uh, can give scientific arguments for god but they could be emotional at the beginning and they uh, and not all scientists are scientific so scientists basically say, oh, I can't believe in a God which would allow a whole, you know, people to be drowned, you know, under a tidal wave. I couldn't believe in a God that wouldn't step in and solve that problem. So you can see that though he's a scientist, he's not being scientific, he's being emotional. So we're saying that if a scientist can be emotional, which is this one job not to do, his one job is don't be emotional. That means every human being is emotional and we cannot use that to prove that God exists, but what we have to use is rational thinking, meaning we have to look at the reality objectively and look at its properties and look at what it can do and its attributes and to find out the attributes of the creator is the opposite of whatever those attributes are, basically. Okay, we discussed that last week, so our job isn't that hard. Um, and our questions about evolution we've already done, so our team is all... Have I missed anything? I have to be very quick on our side, yeah? If I don't hurry up myself, I can't tell anyone else to hurry up. So, who's presenting on this side? In person. So we're doing imitation, which is pretty much. Did someone tell you to do it though? Huh? Are you copying yeah. someone else's argument or is this your own? We work at a team. Oh, so okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Which I was going to lost that argument straight away. Which is um, pretty much just copying someone or blindfolding. Yes. Uh, so you see, in this day and age, they will be Muslim there and you'll ask them, why are you Muslim? And then. They wouldn't, like we, yeah, we, not, like, we, we were able to find out that we would say we're Muslim, yeah, because mm-hmm. we believe in God and we can prove to you, yeah, that God exists, yes. yeah, but then they'll say, oh, God, you know, I grew up in a Muslim family, and what we're trying to say is um, that imitation doesn't really prove God's existence, and when you do imitation, so when you're looking up to someone, there's also hierarchy and superiority, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that we are all equals here, that we, that we as humans, we are all equals. So what I mean by hierarchy is that the Christians here go to their priest and then tell him to tell God to jump something for them. When we as Muslims, we don't need to go to him and we can make God for ourselves. That's the interaction that we have with Allah that in Salah and that. The other thing is footballers. There's footballers, Ronaldo, I'm sure everyone's heard of him. Yeah. Yeah. Personalities, basically. Yeah. Celebrities. Yeah. Ronaldo, if, you, if, you, if we look up to him, it? so at one point he becomes a Muslim, yeah? so then a lot of people might just go and be a Muslim, but they don't really know why. Then after, he thinks, no, nah, I don't like this now. I'm going to go back to Christianity. Then the other person um, would also 
they're going to be uncertain about themselves and uncertainty is if you're uncertain yeah if you're just calling someone that um, and you did narrow mindedly yeah, yeah. then then you will never be strong in your faith because you won't be this, um, certain that Allah really does exist. Yeah. Also so another another thing is this one here. Yes, someone can blindly follow uh, if you follow someone blindly and they are on the path of shit, such as Eminem who calls himself a god of rap. Therefore if the person blindly God of what? Rap. 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 Yeah. And puts him, uh, puts him uh, if the person blindly follows him and puts him or themselves on par with Allah, then they will never be forgiven and all the chances of Jannah yeah. Um, yeah, is wiped away, which is also, which comes to a point about hindering your progression there, yeah, that you blindly followed him when actually you could have been something better. Yeah. That you just wanted to do what he did here. Yeah, when actually you could have been, while he was calling himself all of this, while he might go to hell, you could have gone to Jannah, uh, you could have been a person of your own choice. So, which also brings back to the theme that we have today about critical thinking. An example, when he did use when he, the, the ayah that they read about the Ibrahim uh, al-Islam, when he, 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 he could have been in, in, um, he could have been do, doing shirk as well, shirk as well yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, he could have followed people. everyone else yeah. he could have worshipped the idols mm. yeah. and he could have maybe gone to hell as, but however he chose not to just follow everyone else he used his own thinking by eliminating um, chances and then eventually he, he com comes to the idea that Allah is the one who can control the sun and the moon as well so yeah so in conclusion, imitation is not an effective way of justifying God's existence to the most modern Western society as it is simple shallow thinking which doesn't really prove that God exists but just shows where you believe something but will not be effective in converting people to Islam. That's it? JazakAllah yeah. I feel that some of those arguments, you know, if you think about some of the points he made there, excellent. I give an example. When he's mentioning to do with personalities, I mean, he mentioned something superficial like football though. Yeah, but think about it. Belief in a God and whether you're going to go to hell or hellfire or being a, turn into dust in your grave or whatever is such a big issue to think about. It's such a big issue, isn't it? Really, even a non-Muslim, when you tell him, let's talk about death, he'll say, oh man, that's a bit heavy, that discussion. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah? I don't do death on weekdays. <laughs> Work is hard enough, I'm going to talk about dying now. Yeah? Right? But, you know, what we find is that if we give you even a trivial example, you find that copying is quite bad. So if I give you an example, if I say, look, me and Cameron, we, we, um, basically what happens is um, uh, the ice cream van comes and makes that wicked song, yeah? So he, me and Cameron go running out to go and get ice creams, right? With the flake in it and everything, yeah? The 99p one, yeah? And then we're eating the ice, I'm eating the ice cream, yeah? And I've yet, he hasn't had the ice cream yet, he's got it in his hand. And I eat the ice cream and then I turn around to him and go, this tastes nice, yeah? You're gonna think this man, he's, he's mad. He's lost his mind. Why would I want to know from him whether my ice cream tastes nice? I can know whether my ice cream tastes nice. I have the ability to even know if it tastes nice. But that's really weird, you know, that we do that, that we only like something based on what someone else says that it's good. People do it all that time. Young brothers are in cars now playing gangster rap. They don't even like the music. But they're, they're playing loud so you can hear outside you get it? He probably likes Enyo or something. Basically, he likes some. He likes some. Uh, to knows what I'm talking about. You, you know, the, the theme tune to Lord of the Rings, guys. Yeah, right. He might like the theme tune to Lord of the Rings. Yeah, but he doesn't want to show it, so he's playing Biggie or whatever on the car. So why is he doing that for? Because he cares about what people think. Imitation, you can cuss it, but a lot of people do it, and that's why imitation and belief is so dangerous, so dangerous because it can, it, can, it can land you in the greatest trouble because you're not using anything other than the fact that someone else is doing it. So someone else is walking off a cliff, the guy behind is walking off the cliff, the guy behind is walking off the cliff, everyone's is walking off the cliff. Oh and so you lose your identity. And you lose that's, your that's potential. Right. That's that's right. Right. You lose, you lose, you lose. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. any yeah. questions? I only got time for one question for this team. Anyone got a question? Yeah. Come on, by go ahead. Uh, you know, so you know that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the first of all. Yes. So if he's here at this time telling us that, you know, Allah is the God, the only God. Ah, the ayah, if you really love Allah, follow me. 
that what we would uh, is that a joint question? Yes. Does yes. that mean my team no, get no, points no, no, as well? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we can split. <laughs> we can split a bounty. A joint question. Yeah. Go ahead. Prophet Sam said, "Follow me." Yeah. From the, the as Muslims, you know that we have to look at the Quran as well. And the Quran yes. says there that the Prophet was the best of all Muslims. Yes. And therefore, if we really did, if we really did believe in Allah, then why would we question His His word? Same source. So you're saying you're not following the Prophet Islam because he said follow me. You're saying follow me because he says I'm the messenger of God, because God said he's the messenger, because the miracle of the Quran, etc. Any other questions? Any other questions? Uh, I think that was our one. Oh, that was your one? No, that's mine now. I got half a point. Okay, I can't give points to myself. That was the whole problem with being chair. Uh, any yeah, more questions to them? No? Yeah. Yeah. Ustad Aulad, your okay. team? Yeah. Bismillah. Yeah. Get ready, bro. Okay, this is getting already. Like boxing. Bismillah. Yeah, so this is the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Proving what's wrong. Yeah. Go ahead. Assalamu alaikum brothers. In, in, in this uh, presentation, I will be explaining about the Big Bang Theory. We all combine our knowledge together. Uh, gathered together to show the proof of Allah through the Big Bang Theory. Theory. First, just, just, uh, pull it. Come on. Pause for a second. Um, 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 it's up to the, them. Really. Oh, brother, Asr. Yes, we're going to finish in ten, uh, five minutes max. Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, go, go, go. You need to go. That's fine. I need this brother to finish what he's saying because we've got Salat Al-Asr. And then go. We'll see you next week, inshallah. Okay, showing his Tajweed. Hamza, sit down, please. Go ahead, brother. We've got very short time, brothers. Firstly, the Big Bang Theory does not believe in a creator because they say that the particles combine with the uh, with energy, with the, and there, therefore there was a Big Bang, and the result of this uh, is the creation of the universe. Behind every action, there is a cause. Allah mentions in the Quran, "Kun uh, Faya Kun." The literal meaning of this is "be and it became." This ayah explains that creation can come from nothing but Allah's will. Uh, uh, for example, if I was to get a, a bookshelf and uh, I was to put it together the next day and I wake up the next day and everything's set in order, even the book's in good order and like this just doesn't make logical sense because no one, no one can be doing it unless someone has done it. So. Therefore, this whole theory of the Big Bang Theory is not uh, rational and does not make sense. Uh, in space, uh, uh, as the Big Bang happened, everything went to uh, the cent uh, a centre, then bursted out, which then made a uh, huge, which then released huge lumps of rocks colliding together, which then formed planets, e.g. our Earth. Uh, it is scientifically proven that the earth formed within a six to uh, seven day period. Mm -hmm. Allah in the Quran mentions uh, how the universe uh, within was created within uh, six days and then he placed himself on the Arash, the throne of Allah. The Christians believe uh, Allah rests uh, on the seventh day but Allah is almighty and does not need rest. Uh, Jazakallah for listening, and if you have any questions, please raise your points. <coughs> Jazakallah khair. So the arguments that are made there, one, which is, um, I have to summarize this very quickly, because now just, we've got to finish, yeah? One is that order doesn't come from chaos, okay? Never, yeah? You don't have, uh, basically, something exploding or something on its own, and then all of a sudden you have something that's ordered, or something that is precise. It never happens. You can have things, you know, that change from one state to another. But to change in terms of in a way that's in order needs uh, an intelligence behind it, needs uh, uh, laws behind it, and so on. So order doesn't come from chaos. I think that's your main point, yeah?
And the other thing is, you mentioned the Christian argument, which is the God building, uh, you know, creating the universe and then taking a rest. You have to go? Okay, that's fine. So that's the argument. Any questions? And then we're going to end. Then we're finished. Go ahead. Oh, by the way, yeah, just the last quick thing, yeah, Alaba, you need to, like, by the end of this, you need to tell us who you think actually won. I can't obviously do it now because I'm chair. So I, and because I joined the team. Okay, um, so I was going to get to Since some of my students, I think it would be better if to turn back that day. Because yes. they're most of them are students, and they might be a bit. <laughs> 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 Tufelba, are you okay with that to adjudicate them? Yeah. Okay. It's a serious matter. You know, there might actually be fights about this. Yeah. So Tufelba is gonna uh, choose who you think made, made yeah, the most clearest argument. Go ahead. What's your question? Um, uh, how can you say that um, the argument that Allah chose to make the earth and everything else? Uh, using the Big Bang, and, he, and uh, if your answer is that he, he said that he made it in seven days, what about everything that uh, that could be possibly outside the galaxy? Uh, uh, Allah says what something uh, what well, uh, something we don't need to know. Like there's no need for us to know, so we don't need to know. Uh, so for your example, it's outside the galaxy, so there's no need for us to know about it. Our main purpose is uh, to practice Islam in this earth and to go Jannah. Okay, so I think there's... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the, the point is that you're trying to make is that there was no Big Bang Theory. Yeah. So why do you so, support so, okay. so, say, so, say, so the Big Bang Theory is initially that everything comes together really, really quickly and just like, explodes and then everything comes, to, yeah, comes into place. Yeah. So if you're going to say, like, as your answer, that for Allah made it in the same Sorry, don't forget here, the big bang is that a creator didn't create the bang. It just happened. Mm. So you can see the point. But we're trying to say that. The creator, but you're against the big bang theory, but then you're supporting it again by saying that it was created in seven days. So seven days isn't a bang. A bang is definitely not. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to suggest some answers because we've got to wrap it up. First of all, yeah, just your textual side of things. Seven days doesn't mean seven days. Many times Allah SWT mentions certain things and it doesn't mean seven days. It just means, it just means a lot. Yeah? And it gives you an idea of what it is. That's why there's so many words for time. There's Ard, there's Zaman, there's uh, Waqt, there's Fatra, there's Ahqab, there's God, we could go on Asr, there's so many words for time, yeah? So it, it, all of them show differences in, in, in uh, periods of time. So it doesn't necessarily mean seven days. That's the first thing. And the other point, I think, uh, what Kamal was saying, actually, the brother is saying, is that that's not, and other was actually pointing out to you, you can't, he's not arguing for Big Bang and seven days. Yeah? He's mentioning seven days as a separate thing after you establish Big Bang is the truth. You can't combine both arguments. Yeah, that's just cushion. Yeah. I, I'm trying to say that, like, say if, if I, you know, the first point that I made, yeah. that maybe Allah uh, used a big bang to make it. Exactly. So this is this is the. So, this but, is the but if they say that, if they say, but the big mm. bang theory was mm. uh, it was created in like split seconds. Yes. But Allah said He made it more than that time. Yes. Mm. Okay. There's two different subjects here. Yeah. We were talking about how it isn't something. How is something is a different discussion? So you're mentioning it has in, in, invited a lot more a storm of problems, yeah? But the truth <laughs> is, is that the idea that Allah has said kun fayakun, that's to first prove that Allah exists, secondly to prove that the Quran is the word of Allah, and third to prove that what's in it, you should accept it. So that's a separate matter. But as for why didn't Allah, Allah could have used uh, the Big Bang to create the universe. He could have used it, but based on textual evidence, which is stronger than scientific evidence, yeah, we know that that's not true. But the issue is, is that even for the scientist who said Big Bang, he has to have evidence for that. He has to have evidence for why he thinks that there was a Big Bang. And the fact is, is that they've tried to prove that. So recently, scientists have created what they call uh, a, uh, I think it's called an atomic vacuum. It's not nothing to do with the Dyson Hoover. Yeah. So basically, it's this, it's this thing, it's this uh, uh, capsule, and they've sucked out every single thing out of it. Yeah, of any kind of material that they could have. And inside that thing, they basically said, look, there are small electric currents and things changing, protons and stuff, and for that reason, look, it's possible from nothing, something to come. First of all, our conception of no thing is not no material thing. The fact that there are laws still taking place in that capsule, first of all. This is the scientists who are trying to do Big Bang. The second thing is, is that within what you call no thing, when we say nothing, we, we mean no thing. 
But actually, there are things inside that thing, isn't it? Yeah. When you suck everything out, what's left in there is still something. Yeah. What we're saying is that not sucked out from uh, a place when there was nothing, and then you said something came from it. This is the, uh, and that experiment that they did doesn't prove that because you're trying to get something to turn into nothing and then show it can become something. And until you can do that, which they haven't, they don't even have grounds for their argument about Big Bang. And that's their own test to prove their own argument, which already has got its own flaws. We're going to have to kind of draw it to a close now. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I hope you appreciate that it's not to do with big talks and fancy talks and all of these things, but it's also to do with you thinking. Today you've got more of an opportunity to think. You know, and to question. So we're going to pray Salat al-As, so we ain't got much time. Who won? Who won? That's a good question. Um, I'm going to ask Ustad uh, Tufail Bay to adjudicate. He's good at these things, actually. He's not going to tell me. He's, he's a tough at... one. I, I can't. And remember, um, there's the second test. I hope test. I don't have to justify what a... No, my, you just speak from your own, uh, what, you're, what you perceive to be... Who needs to be worthy? Look at his already kind of influence the judge. MashaAllah. I was quite impressed with this group. The um, imitation arguments were good. The imitation arguments. So I'll keep it simple and just stick to that rather than elaborate. Well, yeah. well we're going to imitate you and agree to your decision. <laughs> right? I your hope brothers, I'm not held accountable. Your brother's ego, bro, is your, is your thing. Uh, right? Now, the, remember that fact. Remember the iron. I, I was going to ask you, because you know the second test, we don't know what it is. Right? So, I was just going to ask, um, we've got like one minute left. Yeah? Um, what do you... We're going to pray us out. A lot of you guys have got your parents waiting outside, so we have to go, yeah? What's the plan, bro? What about those? Are you going to take the chocolates? What, what's the plan? Do we have to? Alhamdulillah. He leaves a sheikh. He leaves a sheikh. He leaves a sheikh. He's not a milk sheikh. The test was for you to understand that. Yeah? Our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how we benefit from it is by pleasing Allah and from pleasing who Allah is pleased with. So we derive our pleasure from knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists and from deriving the pleasure of helping our fellow man. That's what it means to actually believe in Allah and not just to have just arguments. Okay? Brothers, you are welcome to go now, inshallah. Sorry, um, the wudu is very good here, so if you want to go home and grab the stone from the Zerg of wudu, we can pray here. Yeah. 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 Because there's only one thing. I do need funding because what I want